Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be a huge makeup and beauty haul. It's mostly makeup, a few beauty thing, a few <laughs> a few beauty things and it is a collective haul i've been hauling these things i don't know since before christmas but let me show you it's going to be a big one guys it's gonna be a big one so before i jump in and show you guys what i got which is really exciting because i don't even remember what i got it's been a while uh, i want to give you guys a quick intro into what i've been doing so this past month like i have not filmed in probably over a month i know i've been putting up videos um those were all pre-recorded um probably before christmas since like before christmas or right out no right after Christmas because I had that New Year's um, tutorial. So maybe like a week or two after Christmas, I did my last video and I've just been slowly uploading them. And that is because I had started a workout program, um, which I'm super excited. If you guys haven't followed me or don't follow me on any of my social medias, I started P90X again, which this is my second time starting it. Um, since I had my kids. So the first time I started it was after my son and now I'm slowly starting to get back into the fit world. Um, it came really, really easily to me before I had kids and then once I had kids, uh, that kind of all went out the window and so I've actually had to start working for it and I've been doing it. I'm on my third week now. Tomorrow is actually day 19. So I'm going strong. I made it past my two week mark. Um, I posted a bunch of fitness stuff and along with health stuff and you know my diet plan which is not really a diet it's just me cleaning up the way I'm eating and then of course me working out me doing p90 motivational stuff and I've gotten such amazing feedback from you guys so I first want to say thank you so much for giving me the motivation to keep doing it um, I've already lost about six pounds and it's only been like two weeks I think I just finished my second week. So I am feeling extremely good, but the problem that I'm having now is that uh, my time management is just not there. So by the time I'm up, I have breakfast, I work out, I'm hanging out with my children. Um, it's already like four o'clock in the afternoon and I haven't filmed and I've had this stuff, like I said, it is a collective fault and I've had this stuff for over a month and I haven't touched any of it and it's driving me nuts because I want to show you guys before I dig my grubby little hands into any of the makeup and dirty it all up. So I'm finally sitting down and we're going to get this all out of the way and yeah so I'm super excited about my workout plan I have my best friend my sister who is my motivational partner and my workout partner um, so if you guys do want a video like a whole separate video on what I'm doing I can do that for you guys so with all that being said I have missed the crap out of you guys again it has been over a month since I've actually sat down and filmed and I'm super stoked I'm super excited and of course I have all this energy anyways okay Back to the point of this video. So the stores that I went to were Rite Aid, Target, uh, Walgreens, Fred Meyers, and I think that's it. And then I have a box of stuff that um, kind of like Christmassy stuff that I really haven't gotten into. It's not what I got for Christmas because I really didn't get um, that many beauty items this year. So I didn't do a whole video on it, but I'll just throw those things in there um, at the end. Um, they're just makeup items, miscellaneous. And I actually have a package that I got from Sephora because I did get a gift card. So I have a couple high-end items and mostly drugstores. So again, let's just go ahead and jump in. So the first place that I am going to be showing you guys is from Fred Meyers, which again, I know not everywhere has, I'm sorry, that was really loud. I know not everywhere has a Fred Meyers, but it is a Kroger store. So it's a grocery store that has clothes and food and like garden stuff and electronics and they have a huge beauty aisle they sell like Milani and NYX of course and all of like the regulars like Wet n Wild um Revlon L'Oreal all those kind of things so if you guys are new to my channel Fred Myers is only here in the Northwest unless you have a Kroger store near you maybe you can get lucky and find some of these items there so I don't have very many items from Fred Myers because um 
I went to other places such as Walgreens and Rite Aid to get most like the new stuff, but I did see um, their new Real Techniques brushes and this is the Real Techniques sculpting brush. And I've seen a couple of videos going around um, on these suckers and they had another one. It was really, really tiny, um, but I wasn't really interested in that one. I thought this would be so cool for contouring and it's actually, that's what they made it for. So I'm just gonna dig into this guy because I haven't opened him, I'm super excited. So I love the Real Techniques brushes. This is what it looks like. Again, I think it would be perfect for contouring. And I'm also thinking about, well, I know I'm going to do it. A new updated contour and highlighted video. I swear that video I made like two years ago almost. And that video has had the most views on it. It's like up to like almost like 17, 20,000 or something like that. I don't know. It's blowing my mind. It's so old and the quality is so horrible. It's really embarrassing. But a bunch of you have wanted to see an updated one, so I think if I really like this brush, I think this would be a perfect contouring brush. Again, by Real Techniques. Um, and then I got the um, new Maybelline Brow Precise, what is this? Brow P Precise Shaping Sharpener Sharpenable Pencil. I don't know, has a spoolie on one side and then it has the pencil side on the other. And I, I don't know, I'm always looking for good um, eyebrow products and I'm always interested in trying them. I got this in soft brown. Um, my eyebrows are like a lighter brown and they're not like a dark brown, but they also did have like a blonde color, but the blonde color looked like really yellowy and golden. So I just figured I'd try this one out again. This is what it looks like. And I don't know, I'm super into brow products and they've been, so many companies have been coming out with more and more, so I just wanna try all of them. Okay, so now next I got the Maybelline Master Graphic um, Eyeliner and this is a liquid marker eyeliner um, in striking black. So this is what it looks like. And it's funny because right after I purchased this, I went on YouTube and Lauren Curtis actually just did a video on it and that was pretty interesting because um, I've never seen this in action and it was kind of nice to see um, what it would do and what it looked like and blah 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 blah. So that was kind of fun um, but I figured I would pick it up and try it. I love felt tip eyeliners and actually I don't have any right now. Um, well I have a couple but I, they're not ones that I really really like and of course I lost my um, L'Oreal Blackbuster that I mentioned in my Best in Beauty. But instead of picking that one up, I don't know. I decided that I'd try a new one. Pfft, I don't know. Who knows? I should have just picked up my old one because in case that one doesn't work. But I've heard good things about that one. Okay, so next is a Milani blush. This is, this used to be limited edition, but it's now come part of, become part of their um, permanent line. And this is in the color T Rose. So this is what it looks like. Ugh, I hate these packaging. I can't get it open. Okay. So this is what it looks like. It's a super, super pretty color. I think it would look really, really natural. And I couldn't help myself. I ended up putting it on today as a blush because I knew I was doing this video and I figured, why not dig into just a little bit? Um, so I, yes, of course I got this one. I already have Coral Cove, which is like the orange one, and I'm absolutely obsessed with that one. So I figured I'd pick up this one as well, just to play around with it, and I love me some blushes. And then the last thing I got from Fred Myers was this um, Pantene Blowout Extended Dry Shampoo. I haven't seen this before. I think this is new. If I'm wrong, then I guess I've never tried it before, but I am always looking for good dry shampoos. I absolutely loved my Dove one, but it's almost empty, which it took me forever to go through a dry shampoo. Uh, and now that I'm working out every day, I have to wash my hair every day because I'm sweaty and nasty and I just can't leave my hair like that. But um, I figured, I don't know, if I ever need a dry shampoo, then of course I'm gonna have to get another one. And I figured since this was new, it's worth trying. It says instant waterless refreshment to help extend your blowout. So I don't know, I don't have a blowout. Um, so I don't know, I don't even know if it's gonna work, but dry shampoo, had to try it. Also, I wanna say if you guys have tried any of these items, please let me know what your thoughts on them are because I know these items are new, but they've been out there for, I wanna say like 
it has to be like three weeks by now and in the beauty world three weeks is like two or three months so let me know your guys' thoughts on them also um before i go on let me know what you guys want a first impressions on a review on a tutorial on or anything like that so i can um, start planning out my videos and like if you want a first impressions on a foundation then i won't touch it until i do a video and stuff like that so just let me know um what you guys want to see in the comments below and i will do that so next is Walgreens and this is not like one shopping trip this is like multiple shopping trips to Walgreens I don't know I would go like every other week and I'm a huge couponing like freak lately and I just want to buy everything that's like on sale and if it's not on sale then I'm not gonna get it until it's on sale so this is multiple shopping trips I'm telling you guys this is not one shopping trip um Okay, so the first thing is the biggest thing and it is the Wet n Wild Prep and Prime. It looks like this. It has the primer and then the cover, um, the concealer wheel. So it has, it's like a correcting palette. It has like a purple, a green, um, a white, and like a cream color. So that's what this looks like. And then, of course, it has the primer on the other side. And you guys know that I love Wet n Wild, so I figured I'd have to pick it up. It was only $5, so why not? Um, the next thing I got is new. I know for a fact because they were just putting them on the shelves, and I grabbed myself one really quick. This is the Garnier uh, BB Cream, but this is the Miracle Skin Perfector. And it claims that it controls acne and conceals imperfections. So this is what it looks like. Everyone knows knows that I am obsessed with the Garnier BB cream the original but this one is supposed to be like an acne control version of it so it's supposed to um it's well it says clears blemishes reduces imperfections helps prevent acne conceals redness and hydrates and it has the salicylic acid in it and I love the original so I figured I'd try this one this is in medium deep and again this is what the container looks like Okay, so next I picked up the, like, almost like the entire um, new collection of Maybelline. I've been dying to try out the new um, face items that have been coming out. So I finally got my hands on them, and I'm super excited to try them. Again, let me know what you guys think um, and want to see. So the first thing that I got is the Maybelline Master Prime Primer and Base. This is the Blur and Redness Control. So this is what that looks like. And they do have three, as you guys know, they have like the uh, Radiance one or like the Shine one, I think, and then the, just the original and then the Redness. You guys know how I love my Redness Control products, um, such as my L'Oreal Redness um, Reducer BB Cream or whatever that thing is called. But I figured I'd try that one out because I'm always looking for Redness Control because my um, complexion is really red without like a neutralizer on it or something. And then I also got the um, Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. Um, this is in the shade Buff Beige. So this is what that one looks like. And I've already seen so many reviews on this product. I mean, if you guys really want me to do a first impressions or a review, I would absolutely love to. But like I said, I've already seen so many and people just love this. The ones that I've seen, people just love this. So I'm really having high hopes for this bad boy. The next one is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder. And I got the 130 Buff Beige. Oh, I got actually the same ones. I was trying to get the... Um, powder a shade above the foundation but apparently I got the same color but that's okay so this is what the powder looks like again I got it in 130 buff beige okay so next I got the new L'Oreal foundation and powder this is the L'Oreal infallible pro matte 24 hour foundation and I got the color natural buff so that's what that looks like and again I've already heard so many amazing things about this foundation so I'm super excited it's supposed to stay matte all day it's supposed to last for 24 hours I've already seen really really amazing YouTube people talk about it and rave about it so again high hopes for this bad boy and um, the powder I got in nude beige 100 oh weird I got lighter powder but this actually looks 
darker than the foundation so we'll see how it works out and pans out now i have to remember not to take the sticker off because everybody says that they take it off and there's nowhere on the packaging that actually says the color um so this is nude beige and natural buff wait nude beige nude beige and natural buff so those are the two that i got and i'm really again having high hopes for them and then the next foundation or BB cream that I got is the Rimmel BB Cream Radiance 9-in-1 Skin Perfector, and I got this one in light. Um, I was going to get it in medium, but I decided, wow, I'm not going to be tanning at all. And for those months and weeks that I'm not going to be self-tanning, I need something that can actually cover this light complexion because I am white right now. So the reason I got this one is because I figured if it's the Radiance one, then it will be nothing like the BB Matte one. I purchased this and did a review on this one a while ago and it did not last. It was not matte. It was absolutely horrible. I was a huge grease ball right after I applied it and it didn't get any better within the eight hours or five hours that I did the review and it was horrible. So. I figured that I would try this one because it has matte nowhere in the <laughs> packaging and I'm really hoping that it's nothing like that but I'm really hoping that it just gives my face that beautiful glow. So I've also heard really good things about this and I'm super excited to give it a try. Oh and then also another Maybelline product that I got is of course the Master Conceal Camouflaging Concealer and this one I got in light slash medium and that's what this looks like a bunch of people said that um always go a shade above because for some reason these ones um run really really light and so i thought if i got light to medium it wouldn't be so light because of course i'm going to be using it as like a highlighting concealer um this has been like a either hit or miss on youtube some people hate it some people love it um i love concealers so I'm really hoping that I like this one um, if not there's always a return policy but I probably won't return it because I don't return anything the next concealer that I got is the wet n wild come correct celebrity concealer by Fergie and this is what it looks like I actually used this today for underneath my eyes and it did a really good job but I think I got um, too dark of a color. This is a medium golden. I don't know why I would get that. Uh, I don't know. Who knows? Um, and it's also really, really thick. I could barely squeeze it out of the tube. Um, and a little bit went a long way. It was just really, really, really thick. So I'm going to have to play with this a little bit more. Um, and I, I wish I would have gotten a step lighter. But what can you do? The next things I got were from Rimmel and they're two new items. You guys know that I love the old Rimmel lipsticks and I was really afraid to try the new ones because I liked the old ones so much but I seen a color that I absolutely had to have and of course it's their new Moisture Renew lipstick and this is in Let's Get Naked. First of all, let's talk about the name. It completely drew me in. I was like, let's get naked. Oh wait, that's a really pretty color. And so it looks like this you guys can see it's just a really pretty like oh of course I got something on it I don't even know how to describe it it's so stinking pretty it's like a peachy like pink but nude so this is what it looks like it's totally my color this is like the color that I rock like I love these types of like pinky peachy nude like lipsticks and oh, I just absolutely love it I think it's gonna be stunning just love it. It's absolutely gorgeous. So I'm definitely excited to see how those wear. And if they wear good, then of course I'm going to go pick up some more. Um, then I got the Rimmel London Provocalypse. I only got one because of course I've seen a couple reviews on YouTube because, you know, I'm a YouTuber. Of course, I trust the YouTubers out there. But this product and then the L'Oreal um, 24 hour 
um, glosses like this. They're just so controversial, I feel like. I feel like you either love one or the other, or like you hate them both, or you love them both. I don't know. Like, it was just like hard to pick and choose like who to believe and who not to believe. So I decided to skip on the L'Oreal ones because they're like $10 for one. I was like, who would... I don't know who has time for that so I got the Rimmel one and this I this color I thought was absolutely stunning if I could find the color I would tell you it is what is this oh I I'll call you it's a lame name okay I'll call you that's actually really pretty so that's what that looks like I was not expecting them to be that pigmented that's actually super crazy um, and I don't know these aren't supposed to be matte they're just supposed to wear for 16 hours right so you put the gloss on the other side when it's dry right because I just I don't know everyone's like into this whole matte thing I just don't like matte lipsticks i don't know they just are super drying and i just they're not for me so i'm really hoping that that will work out for me with the gloss over the top of it all right so moving on with the haul and next one is Rite who can go wrong with bb creams you can never have enough i got the oil free eye makeup remover by neutrogena last drugstore bag which is target i don't know it's really soft so two new things from nyc i love drugstore makeup i love when they come out with new things and say hello it's summertime get on it i actually won this in a contest that physicians formula was holding thank you so much for watching and i can't wait to see you guys in my next video